see here. Let me see here. Um, what do I gotta do? Advanced properties. Turn on desktop audio. That should be that. What uh? What is that? It's like something in the bottom of the left. Let's see. What? What am I? See? Oh, is that? Oh, is that the cord? It is the core. Holy shit, that hole. That's crazy. I don't see that. I just yanked it out. Like, wow. It was there, though. See it? Oh. It was in the corner corner. Shit would have drove me crazy on the edit because then I'd have had to fucking shrink it down. Mm. Some little fucking things, man. <clears throat> Alright, broski. Well, first off, it's good to see ya. Same. Good to see you, my brother. So, what do you, what do you want to talk about or discuss or start with? What are we, what are we, what are we doing? Today? Well, we should probably talk about this new Indiana Jones movie coming out. I'm is down. is anyone even really excited for this movie? Let's let's see what the chat says. I am down for uh, for that conversation. Okay, so. The Indiana Jones movie looks decent, but is it who's directing it? The guy that did Logan. That's a crazy difference. We should watch the trailer. <laughs> the uh, is um to what now? This isn't the newest one, huh? Go back. That one. This right, one, right? I, I think that. This is it, right? Yeah. In 213 BC, Archimedes built the dial that could change the course of history. Please allow me to introduce myself. With this, we will have our victory. It's not yours. You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. Get back. Damn. Uh, that's a little silly, but I can't do that. You know what the problem is? <laughs> that was a pretty good look though. Jones and the you know? Like the thing the thing about June thirtieth. Bro, the thing about Harrison Ford, bro, is like he has this like crazy charm. It's like, I don't know, if 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 he really cares about it, then it can be something. Like don't sleep on the on the old people regardless. So, so they had like one so I I read like one <clears throat> pretty fucking negative review from Khan Film Festival. Already? And then yeah, and then um, everything else I've I've read is about how Harrison Ford got like this standing ovation, but like the they hated the movie though, but they gave him like this big ass standing ovation. I wonder, cause dude, that last shot was pretty good. Like, <laughs> you see, he's like, <laughs> I actually like this face right there. I don't know. I think he could pull it off. I think it might just be like a swan song kind of situation where like you gotta it's like he's old man you know there's just some you can't do much you know and it's like one fair, final farewell even if it's a bad movie written wise yeah so I guess he said we're Shia <laughs> well a, a couple of things so I, I read that um, Tarantino actually liked Kingdom of the Crystal Skull <clears throat> more than the last crusade really yeah and um so they're saying that this movie is a fucking disaster really yeah i mean it looks like a disaster but the the charming moments will be whatever because listen man like indiana jones is one of those series where it's like in 213 BC. really how many good ones are there Archimedes right to the like dial. two the first three yeah say two or three right 
Well, uh, honestly, I, I thought Crystal Skull was just like the black sheep, but it looks like there's there's like another black sheep here. Yeah, this looks worse in a sense. I mean, it, as long as they're doing something with the um, with the direction of the cinematography, well, then I'd be down. Look for this article that I I read. So look up ND five is a disaster. <laughs> this yep, one, the, yep. I'd say it's probably the Phantom Wire, huh? Might be the worst movie in a 1.96 billion franchise. I mean, that's modern day shit, though. Like everything you we're we're what sucks is we're growing. We're we're growing old long enough to see everything turn to shit. Everything turn old. Well, not only old, but just like everything is kind of getting diluted, you know? Yeah, where it's like, like you said, it's old, but it's like, I mean, it it happened to it happens to every generation, I would imagine. It's like all the all the stars. Of course it does. You know, what I'm and that's depressing. Well, it's life though, because but, we're watching Harrison Ford fall apart, just like the guy at the end of the Last Crusade, right before our very eyes. But see what's and crazy. still starring in movies. Yeah, but that's life, bro. He's, I mean, look, see, this is a fucked up picture though, like. They grabbed this man. Look, <laughs> hey, you know what my son said today? They gotta do him like that, bro. He, he said it should have been called Indiana Jones and the Dialysis Machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a great Jesus. Listen, I I would be down. Oh, I'm gonna be down. I'm still gonna watch it, but like, it's one of those. It, to me, Indiana Jones, I've never really cared about like that much. But I think that the first three movies are really good. You know what I'm saying? They are even like even, they're really there's some really great moments in all this. Dude, movies. the first and, two scared me yeah, when I was a kid. Facts. I was horrified when that dude's face melted. I had facts. fucking nightmares. Yeah, bro. Like, Same with the fucking Temple, Temple of, Doom, of Doom, where they're Temple eating Doom was the hearts brains, and hearts, yeah, eyeball soup. Ooh, yeah, they was tripping. Yeah, no. guys are getting ripped apart by fucking crocodiles, mm. falling off a cliff. See, that's the problem. Is like when something becomes so mainstream, all of that little nugget moments are gone. With every series, I mean, think about what the fuck franchise has survived the test of time right now. Like, um, like 007's in a pretty good space, dude. 007's been on life support since the fucking eighties, bro. But, but it's like you know, that's the only one that's in like a good space. I would say like now to do some shit. I'll tell you what's been. I like Skyfall a lot, even though a lot of people don't like that movie. Well, I thought Casino Royale was the best Bond movie ever. Casino Royale is amazing. But I thought everything that got After done. So I mainstream. thought the they, Daniel Craig era was exactly like the Pierce Brosnan era, uh -huh. where the first one was amazing and the rest of them were just like okay and some of them not Bro, so the good. Pierce Brosnan era was the worst Bond era. Except Goldeneye. Except Goldeneye. Goldeneye's and the amazing. same guy that did Casino Royale did Goldeneye. Even though I like the song Die Another Day. <laughs> yeah, with Madonna. <laughs> yeah. That movie is so atrocious. Okay. I gotta go take the chicken out of the oven. Entertain these mofos. So, ND5, not ND5. looking so good here. Don't, don't change the topic, because I want to say more. Things. Indiana Jones and the dialysis machine. Yep, Casino Royale is definitely the best one. Skyfall was probably the second best one. And I would definitely put Quantum of Solace last, even though I kind of have a special place in my heart for that movie for some weird reason. And what was the other one? Spectre? Spectre is second. Second to last. <clears throat> die. Uh, no Time to Die was pretty good too I would have to put that right behind Skyfall that's the third best Bond movie <clears throat> yeah Pierce Brosnan they wanted him to play James Bond for Live and Let Die and he's and he was just too young and then they wanted him to do it in the 80s but Timothy Dalton had to do it because he had some kind of 
contract with Remington Steel at the time. But GoldenEye is a pretty solid movie. The fucking Super Nintendo game is badass, or Nintendo 64 game. Whatever. But this new Indiana Jones movie, I don't know, guys. Alright, so I think... Okay, so I think here's the problem, right? Anything that is a movie that's not a horror movie, right? Because horror is like you can do whatever. Right, and you can keep doing whatever, right? So listen, 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 listen. Here's my thought process, right? And even horror movies end up doing it, like Friday the, thir- Friday the 13th, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and shit. But like, when it comes to like like a franchise, right? Anytime it becomes mainstream, it almost always turns to dog shit. Once it becomes a franchise, almost almost instantly, like not if it's like if you do three movies, right? I don't even call that a franchise yet because you still don't really know the capabilities of what you what you're doing, right? And it might not go into that. Like like I said, the first three indie movies, right? But when you do fourth movie <laughs> of any kind, right? Then you're the automatically start. that's where the problem. Let's look at all start, bro. with the exception of well, I I I won't say that. I will give. I'll say for a very entertaining part four was fucking Alien Resurrection. It's a pretty watchable movie. It's not a good movie, but it's got more watch. It's got more watchability than than Alien Three for sure. I don't really like Alien Three. That's the prison, right? Yeah, no, 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 no. But. <laughs> Yeah, no, Alien sure. Resurrection at least had some good kills. Alien, Alien's one that fell off kind of early, honestly. Like Aliens is the best Alien movie. Yeah, you know, and the first a- the first two are definitely they're just great films. <laughs> Everything mm-hmm. else from there on out is incomparable. But like, think of anything that went to a fourth movie; it almost always turns to dark shit. Predator Four. Star Wars. Lethal Weapon Four was pretty good. I love Lethal Weapon Four actually. So I, I'll give it that. Lethal Weapon's a decent one, but that, I don't really look at that as a franchise though, because they're not. What no, about the Phantom Menace? That's what I'm saying. Star Wars. Star Wars is a big one. Right? What about Star Trek Four, where they rescue the whales? <laughs> Rocky was, Four, when he fought Drago. Rocky, Rocky Four was cool. Rocky survived. Hey, shout out to Dolph Lundgren, man. Yeah. Hope hope you make it out, buddy. For real, for real. Um, what else? Mm, part trying, four. What about the Hobbit? The Hobbit was decent. I'm trying to think of something that survived. Um, what about Saw four? Great movie. Which one was Saw four? Friday the Thirteenth four. Great movie. <laughs> Which one? Wait, Nightmare on Elm Street four. Great <laughs> movie. Yo, that movie was amazing. Halloween four. Great, great. movie. <laughs> With the shotgun to the chest kill. Anytime franchise, bro. Horror. Yeah. It's wow. Crazy. Like the fourth movie always fucks it up. You could have three great movies, and then though. for horror movies, the fourth one's where it gets really good. Yeah, usually because honestly, that's what. Uh, what was the fourth Chucky movie? I can't remember what the fourth was. One it Bride was. of Chucky. It had to be right because Child's Play three was when he was older. Andy, mm, kind of a mixed bag with the part fours, except with horror. Yeah, horror is the only one, but majority franchises like after the third movie, man. It's just like you just start you're you're looking past what it what it was originally. You know what I mean? Does that rule apply to the 007 movies? No. Because I don't there's think like so. 25 of those motherfuckers. That's different cuz they reset every time. They're like that's like you know, an individual thing more than anything else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like On to the different. next. Yep. Let's watch the new Transformers trailer. Are you excited for with, that or what? With Unicron? Yeah. Well, here here's the thing. Is it the same guy who did Bumblebee? Yeah. No, it's not. Oh. But, but it's in that universe though, right? Right. So there's still a lot of shit in these movies that remind me of Michael Bay as far as like the fucking overall aesthetic and right. shit. But it's like as long as they just don't have the dopey comedy, the... Michael Bay was like trying to force on us. Right. Um You're with it. Yeah. So here's something else. But here's what I'm confused about with these movies. Let so Bumblebee was the the best Transformers movie to come out so far. Right. But it like ties in to the original movies with that 
Agent Simmons guy who helped like invent the internet and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see the young in the, in the first movie, right, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. John, uh, John Turturro's character, so, right? So you see the young him in Bumblebee, and then Bumblebee turns into the Camaro, right? Uh, at the end, and then meets up with Optimus, and then you see him later on in Transformers One with Shia LaBeouf. True. So in the last night, you find out that Earth is actually Unicron. Right. Which was fucking retarded. Yes. But Unicron is in this movie. And and he's in this movie. Yeah, but not as planet Earth. He's Unicron like he was in the cartoons. Oh, wait, what? So he's not yeah. he's not the Earth? Correct. He's just a fucking robot. But like the cartoons, right? Yeah. Let's let's check it out. Is this the new one? This is the new one? Mm. This is a clip. When did um this one, right? Three weeks ago, right? No, this just came out. Final trailer right there. That's the one. This one? Yep. Oh, I have not seen this one, I don't think. For centuries. <clears throat> Dougie be looking drastically different every time he's on stream. Could have swore he had glasses last time. I, he usually rock glasses too, yeah. Well, I have glasses. You got the glasses. Man got the glasses. And I got the sunglasses. You should put on. Oh, yeah, you should, you should rock the shades. <laughs> These are the darkest sunglasses I've ever Bro, owned. You, you I look, almost you look, you look blind. I almost. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see this Transformers movie. So. <coughs> no, no. So check this shit out. <laughs> Pete Davidson is playing Mirage. Really? Yeah, I just found that out today. I mean, fuck it, whatever. And listen. But before you play this trailer, I've never seen one episode of Beast Wars, so I I understand that there's a huge following with Beast Wars, bro. It's the craziest lore ever because, right? All right, so listen, I've been watching it on Tubi. Like for like I don't know past couple months, like I just slowly go through episodes. All right, this shit's crazy because I'm not I'm I I haven't gotten to the there's two different Beast Wars shows, right? There's like Beast Machines and Beast Wars. There's two different series. Yes, dude, and I I'm I haven't gotten to the end of Beast Wars yet, so I don't know if it goes into Beast Machines. But peep this though, when they first get to to this planet, I forget what they even call it. They call it something once they get there. There's like this energon that you know everybody's trying to get to basically, so they can get off this planet because they're all stranded there in beast in beast wars. That's the whole fucking premise. Is the Decepticons landed over here and opt opt so and it's the same landed. shit as before, only with animals. Right, but here's the crazy part, right? So, like, 12 to 14 episodes into the show, they find, like, this Omega version of, like, Energon that they've, like, never seen or felt before or whatever. <laughs> you said and, I look blind. <laughs> <laughs> he did. It looked hilarious. I am blind with these on. <laughs> it works. These are, like, blind people glasses. They it are. It works. I've, yeah. It works. But listen, so... So they 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 find this Omega Energon and they you know how they look like apes before in the middle of the season they don't look like apes and shit anymore like when they when they're transformed they look like robots but like in ape form does that make sense yeah well I'll show you after this I'll okay. show you after this for centuries our kind has stayed hidden on Earth but darkness. Has found us again. See, they look more like this in the show 15 episodes afterwards. Like, they don't look, he doesn't really look like a gorilla. Like, he looks like a fucking machine. Why are you hunting for the king? Yo, Donkey Kong, stay away from my friend. Oh, Mirage, don't worry. You boys got this. Down. I won't ask a 
second time. Right. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. I mean, you know, you know, you're gonna be in for a ride. You brought a human That's for here. sure. I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seen. I thought Optimus is Harambe, though. That's what just confused me. Uh, How is there two Optimuses? This is not. Oh, he's war. Optimus Prime. Optimus. We must trust each other to protect the home we all. And he's Optimus. Because there can only be one Optimus Prime. Uh, he eats planets, so like way bigger than a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. Oh, I like that girl. I forgot what movie I saw her in. Like this. There's a movie with Jamie Foxx. Let them come. Cool, this is the movie with one shot. Bro. That looks pretty fucking good. I'll tell you what. That looks pretty damn decent. Okay. And then let's check out. Okay, hold on. Before, okay. I'm just yeah, going to show yeah. you. I'm going to show you this scene real quick. It should be able to just be mm -hmm. seen here. Let me see. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> McLeod. Yeah, we, we stay watching that shit. That shit, bro. People die in that shit like Gotham, bro. Like, I swear to God, every episode somebody's gone. All right, so let me see if they have Beast Machines here too. They might. I don't know. They do. Look, they had them both right there. So look, there's Beast Machines. This came out after Beast Wars, like a year after, and it's like the same. I swear it's the same actor, but I haven't actually seen it or whatever. Right, so look, <clears throat> like that's they went like what episode is this right now? All right, so this is season two. So like, see how they look like they he looks like a T Rex, but he's like they're very mechanical now, is what I'm saying. Is like so I think I think they're gonna be taking place afterwards, like because they don't even look like this in the beginning. When you see him in the first season, he looked like this, this ugly ass gorilla. Like they're they're very much more like uh I don't know how to describe it like they they just look see he looks like a he literally looks like a fucking cheetah. Cheater to Optimus, do you read me? Yes. It's so like, fifteen episodes in they find this Omega Energon shit and transform. I don't think that's gonna have anything to do with it, but I think the reason why they chose to do the latter is because they only stay in these forms for a little bit. So anybody who's like criticizing like well they don't really look like beast like that's why it. They're probably doing that. Oh, there's a teaser for Aquaman 2? No, I this, this probably isn't real. I bet you. These motherfuckers be dropping fake shit. Maybe not, though. Oh, 12 hours ago. You were born to lead the sea and land, my son. I'm supposed to be a king to bring the land. I didn't know this was out. There are enemies coming. I don't think this is real. I'm far away. Maybe, though. I need warriors. No, this is fake. Yeah. I say it's my We got dupes. Yeah, I didn't think so. You cocksuckers. Like, they fucking got me. Okay, so let's uh we should check out uh what what else was did I want to oh the new flash trailer. Oh yeah, let's talk about flash for a bit. <clears throat> let's talk about flash. Where's DC? Right here, right? No, that's four weeks ago. How like how did these motherfuckers not even be on the top of their own shit? I fucking YouTube so weird sometimes. Right, I guess this works, right? Because there's one that came out yesterday, right? This is the new one, right? Yeah. Here. Oh my God! Flash! Hi. I love you. Thank you. Crashing you into Mr. White. No, please don't. Um, I need you here now, Barry. So you're saying you could travel back in time? The Bruce. I can fix things. I can save people. I can save my mom. I can 
save your parents. You can also destroy everything. I love you, Bob. I love you, too. So how was it this week? How's school? School was good. Oh, shit. This is mad trippy. Dude, this is catastrophic. This world must die. He looks so fake right there. Like, that shot looked terrible. It looks so rubbery. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. That's is that why they made the suit look like that? It looks so rubbery. Wait, he's Batman? You wanna get nuts? I hate that he said this. Oh my god. Why would they make him say that? At least right there, like why? Bro, what if, what if Flash? He has fancy friends. What if the other Flash becomes Reverse Flash? Like him, his younger self. That kind of looks like that's what's gonna happen. You think so? He's gonna be evil, right? I think so. Cause you could see in some scenes, like he looks like he's not even fucking paying attention. Like he just don't care. Where's that fucking scene where they just drop with Batman? All right, right here. Let's get nuts. That's pretty stupid, though. Like, look, like he, he just don't even look like he's fucking paying attention. And they're like in the sky. <laughs> look, look. This rips. <laughs> you see, he, like he, he looks kind of scared. He looks like I guess so. What does he say? This rips. Yeah. We're in uncharted territory. Got a lot on his mind. <laughs> you better focus, big fella. I kind of look like that when I went out the plane, though. When I skydived. Ready. Let's go. Hmm. You have fancy friends. Yeah, so you think you think Barry's gonna become evil? <sighs> Maybe. That would be cooler than them having two good flashes. Yeah, but like that has to happen pretty early, then. You know. Yeah. And then he'd have to like kill himself. I mean, I don't know what the fuck would happen. We'll see. Bro, I swear to you though, like they need to figure this shit out in a in a major way. Cause I'm I'm low key worried, especially with the writer strike, bro. We got to talk about that for a minute too. Like that shit in itself is bananas, bro. You know what I mean? And it's funny we just watched the Transformers thing. You were talking about Michael Bay because the reason why the second Transformers movie was trash was because of the writer strike in 2007, bro. And and Quantum of Solace. Yep. And fucking uh, Michael Bay wrote that shit himself, nigga, because he wasn't in the fucking guild. Uh, Ain't that some shit? That makes sense. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? So that's why we got a shitty ass second movie when the first one was actually pretty damn decent. So let's, dude. Is there a new trailer for the new Saw movie? Oh, Saw Ten. I don't think so. We're gonna get duped again. These motherfuckers be be out here duping. Trailer concept? No, nah, I don't think so. Not yet. It, is it is it coming out this year? I don't know. I think so. They used to churn those things out, man. Salt in. Yeah, like, uh, is what's his name going to be? Um, the Doctor? That'd be good. Dr. Gordon. That'd be kind of sick. Dr. Gordon. <laughs> Dr. Gordon. Um, did we talk about Shazam? Well, let's talk about two movies. All right, what movie is Shazam. 
and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. All right, I haven't seen Guardians yet, but I don't care because I'm doing uh, 2023 MCU free, so I'm not watching it until next year. Okay, well, I can do a spoiler-free review. Yeah, you can do it forever. I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen it yet, so we'll we'll keep it light. Okay. But you can give it you can give it a, a good good go though. Okay. How'd you feel about it? Well, it had a lot of bizarre animal shit in it. Right. Just keep talking. Go ahead. And um, it's definitely like a, a two and a half hour long like PETA ad. Really? Where it's like the level of animal abuse in this film is like Lord of the Rings level. Yeah, that's what I heard. It was like Rocky gets fucked up and all the animals and shit. Well, the high guy. So the, high, the uh, high evolutionary makes like societies of like they're like planet wide like Island of Dr. Moreau level shit. Mm -hmm. And I said I wasn't going to do a spoiler. I was going to do a spoiler for your review, but I'm just going to do a regular review because I don't know what to say without like talking about You're it. You're good, bro, because I don't, I don't really care either so, way. So um, let me see if I can remember the exact storyline to this fucking movie. So I've only seen the first two like one time each. Right. So... I was kind of like confused as to like where this, where and when this was like taking place. But mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> so they're back at the nowhere place. So they're inside that giant head. Mm -hmm. And um, Adam Warlock comes to find fucking Rocket. Because Rocket. By the way, Adam Warlock was a fucking retard in this movie. That's what he usually is, though. Okay, I didn't know that. Because he's like just he just got born. He's okay, just born or whatever. So he's still like a fucking baby. So, except in like the comic comics, like but most of the time he's usually an idiot. So, Rocket gets fucked up, and he has some kind of like, um, kill switch on his heart that the High Evolutionary put put there. Because, oh, Rocket has that? Yeah, because Rocket, as it turns out, is the High Evolutionary's smartest creation. Mm -hmm. And the High Evolutionary was trying to figure out how to, like, uh, like hyper-evolve uh, animals. Right. Like, to where they would be humanoid, like, instantly. and it, But he couldn't... He could get their bodies to do that but their minds were like still super primitive and like angry and shit and, and like homicidal so like rocket is like in the room with the high evolutionary and he starts talking like an idiot but he's starting to say like what the high evolutionary did wrong with his like machines he's right. like you put wrong tube here this needs to speed that right and the high evolutionary like cannot fathom that like this Rocket. Like something that was like below his, because he's a piece of shit. The high evolutionary in this movie, uh -huh. and he, um, it like blows his mind that that he fucking, um, could figure that shit out, and and he couldn't. Right. And uh, so they basically have to. The guardians meet this guy who's who, uh, the high evolutionary who fucking. Creates like entire planet wide civilizations of these like humanoid animals mm -hmm. and like destroys them. Like he fucking creates them and destroys them at will to right. like experiment. Like entire civilizations. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, it's got some pretty like, it's got a lot of horror elements to it too. But um, it's definitely pretty epic. It's, I wouldn't say. I would say maybe it's the best Phase Four Marvel movie, but like, what is that saying? Yeah. Um. Does anyone like die? Spoiler alert! Nobody fucking dies, bro. <laughs> but so like, why not? And here's the thing too: Rocky him and a new leader. him and fucking Gamora don't even hook back up, and it's just like, well, well duh, because she's she's from, like, fucking right. with Thanos. But whatever. you were still kind of rooting that something would happen. Nah, I kind of like that they don't hook up. 
Like she's hella different. She's like he's like I'm not even attracted to that bitch. You know what I mean? Because Gamora went through different shit. So like, it's 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 actually kind of unique that they didn't like refall for each other. That would be just stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more of like an awkward kind of situation. It's, which is kind of smarter. It's definitely the darkest of the three films. Yeah, but um, it definitely um has less humor in it. Mm-hmm. That's because I think he got tired of that, like, every time it was, like, a serious moment, he'd break it up with a joke in the first fucking two. You know what I mean? And per usual, like, his wacky space shit is is pretty Good. crazy. Like, they have to break into this giant, like, uh... Look like Nickelodeon gack. It, it's like, like a, a giant membrane. organic space station, basically. Mm-hmm. And the suits that the guards wear... Are, are, are like, like, like Croc, like Croc shoes, like Croc suits. It's hilarious, bro. That's great. <laughs> so, how, how funny was it? Did you laugh a lot or what? Um, it had like some really depressing shit in it. Honestly, yeah, I heard that. Like, people were like, it was like borderline. Like, it's hard for people to watch because you know a lot of people love animals and shit. Yeah, like it has a lot of like experimented on animals that are like part machine that looked very fucking disturbing. Right. But what, what Rocket you... is Rocket is definitely like the front and center character of, of, this, of this movie. Yeah. Right. Adam Warlock was a retard. Um I actually really like that Mantis character in this movie. She uh she gets to shine a little more and I liked Nebula in this movie too. Like she she was kind of front and center in a lot of the action mm-hmm. and and it shows what she can do with her fucking implants and, and shit. And then who's somebody's related to Mantis? Is it uh Quill or is it um Rax? I don't know. She's related to one of them. Oh, it's Quill. Quill, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Because she worked for Ego or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, that happened in the Christmas special. You found that out or whatever. Yeah, that's what I heard. I, I didn't even know there was one. <clears throat> yeah, with Kevin Bacon or whatever. Um, Well, that's good, man. I, I'm glad that like the MCU is getting something, bro, because for me, well, man. Ha- their last have, you seen, have, been have you seen Black Panther 2? Because I bought it and I watched some of it and I fell asleep. But it looked like it had a lot of like Aquaman type shit in it. Uh yeah, dude, there's some cool ass visualizations in in uh Black Panther two. I don't like that movie though, like at all. But like you know, visually it's a treat for sure. You know what I'm saying? I also fell asleep during Thor. Oh, that movie's trash. And it, it seemed like from what I saw, it seemed like it had like he was doing the one trick pony shit from the last movie, but instead of playing Led Zeppelin, he was playing Guns N' Roses, whom I really don't care for. Oh yeah, he was doing that crazy. And then, bro, that movie is, I mean, um, terrible, bro. I thought Shang Chi was actually a pretty solid movie. Shang Chi is great. And I think that's the best, in my opinion, that's the best movie for me in in Phase Four. Um, I I know how the movie doesn't doesn't have the greatest internal logic, but I had a lot of fun with Spider Man Far. Uh, no way home. No way home. No way home is not a bad movie. I just my my whole thing is just you know, but it was strictly like nostalgia yeah, based. Just, you know what I mean? Exactly. It, it it really was kind of a sloppily made film. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. No, I don't think so. You wanna you want some? No, no, he's good. All right, bro. Well, you can have it afterwards, but uh, we got some chicken if you want. All right, if you want to grab on that after. Um. Uh. What, go what, ahead. What the hell was we? Uh. What was you talking about? Oh, I I wanted to talk about Shazam. Oh yeah, let's do Shazam. Um, Fury of the Gods. I I, so, I enjoyed that movie, bro. So it was no better or no worse than the last movie to me. I thought it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I feel. I feel like it was like the exact same. Um, you know what? Like 
the, what I didn't like was some of the CGI. But what I, I honestly liked those two witches more than I thought I would. Like they looked kind of lame in the fucking trailer, but I actually kind of even in the beginning liked, to like when they first went to rob the dude or whatever. I was like, okay. Yeah, this is kind of whack. But see, what I liked, though, was, like, how they were trapped inside the city. And, like, there were still people who just had to, like, live life, bro, like, in the fucking bubble. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like what could Shazam, like, it, as strong as he is, it's like, what the fuck could he even do in that kind of situation? I kind of like that shit where, like, everybody was kind of pissed. Like, why aren't you doing something? He's like, well, I'm trying. Like, So know, there were a couple of things I didn't like. I don't like how... When he's Shazam, he's a retard. That's the worst part. It doesn't make any sense because he's yeah. so much more mature. And when he's, not. when he's a kid, he's more mature. Yeah, exactly. Um, weird. I wasn't really annoyed with like the Shazam family as I as as I thought I would. I thought it would be completely like overused, and it really wasn't that bad. Mm. It was just kind of like. And that shit was all cool. Every I thought visually it was a dope movie because I it didn't was. think I didn't think they were gonna be that that far ahead. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like in the second movie, usually it's like they're still for some reason learning. But it was like, bro, they had already been inside that whole ass little labyrinth and like learning about the different realms and like magic and you know what I mean? If that was where their new pad was, was inside. Apparently, that spot. this was the. This was the worst performing box office of any DC movie. Yep. And you know what's crazy? No one ever talked about Wonder Woman showing up. And let's talk about that. So she just magically shows up. Like magically delicious. Yeah. Like out of like, nowhere. Out of nowhere. Like total cameo sense. Total like, hey, cameo. Hello everyone. Like, I'm here. Like, I was surprised yo, she didn't break I, the fourth wall. I bro, was surprised. I and thought wink bro, at the audience. Bro, like, hey guys, I thought, I'm here. I thought they were gonna just fucking never show them together. Like like, like, just show her cut, their cut, her cut, their cut. And then, like, when they have the side view, it's just, like, another actor and shit. It's like, I was like, bro, is she actually going to touch these people or what, bro? Because, like, how it looked, it was like they never showed them together for, like, any shot. I was like, bro, what the fuck? They did finally at, like, the end. But I was like, man, they, they was playing around with that one. That was hilarious. So nobody's talked about that, which I was, like, shocked. And I kind of think it's weird how they had the fucking James Gunn tie-in at the end with the mean? Justice Society. Oh, yeah. I don't get why. It seems like the Justice Society and Justice League are, like, working in tandem in these films. Almost. For Amanda Waller. But right. I thought Amanda Waller, like, kept tabs on the Justice League. Maybe that's how it is, and I'm, I'm just tripping. Maybe Justice Society is... The only people that work under Amanda. Under Amanda. Yeah, Justice League don't work. Justice under League him. runs under Bruce Wayne's money. Right. Um. She, yeah, but she just keeps tabs on them. Okay. Movie. Let's keep the ball rolling. Let's watch the Blue Beetle trailer. Down. I'm pretty actually excited for this. I'll give. I'll tell you how I feel after we watch the trailer. Cause I, I last time I watched it, I wasn't. Uh... You weren't paying attention, really. Yeah. Scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, everything right now feels so out of reach. Who, who's directing this? Me, I don't know. They don't get out much. <laughs> I just want to rap. Jenny? I just want to rap. Guard, I bet you life. But do not open it. You went in to get a shop, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. This ain't what you want. 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 What the? Host acquired. Who said that? Okay, it's gonna be okay. Oh, oh, oh space. Free entry systems ready. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh, what is 
What's going on? I just want to run. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. To say that you want. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. The low you feel for your family makes you weak. I just want to run. Looks like it's gonna be a fun, fun ass movie, though. What you're gonna do with it? Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party! Nice choice. I just wanna. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just wanna rap. Mm. I mean, it, that that looks like it's gonna be a jam-packed movie. You know what I mean? That's what that's what it definitely looks like. And the the CGI looks pretty damn good, shockingly. And this doesn't come out till when? Uh, later this year, right? Yeah. So how many movies are? How many more movies? They got Flash, Blue Beetle, and Aquaman. Yep. For this year. Yep. So, uh, here's a little news f- for the Batman. What? It has its title. The new one? Yes. What is it? It's called The Batman Part 2. Is, I love it. Is it really? Yeah, why not? That's dope. <laughs> Very non-pretentious. I like that. He said, bro, just call it Part 2. <laughs> They're probably like they probably had a big ass fucking meeting and shit. Right. I'm thinking okay. uh we just do part two. You know how Matt Reeves is too, bro. So eighties. Yeah, bro. Part two. That's crazy. I'm down. Remember when shit just used to be called two? Yeah. Blade part two. two. Part three. Mm-hmm. The subtitle. Godfather part two. They don't do that anymore. They just subtitle it Rise of Or just call Rise it Rise of the Trash. Fucking new thing. Resurrection. They always use these biblical Resurrection is almost always a disaster. You never use resurrection in your name of your animes, your games, <laughs> your fucking your movies. Fucking albums. Any nothing, form of media. <laughs> anything the really. only place the resurrection belongs <laughs> is in the New Testament. Yeah, say in the Bible. <laughs> That's yep. it. It never works, bro. Everything's a disaster with resurrection in it. I'm telling you. Just don't work. Just don't like. Blue just Beetle, don't like. Blue Beetle looks pretty damn decent, though. I mean, I think, okay. So we got to be honest here, though. Like, is the Flash going to do well or not? What do you think? Dude, in this crazy day and age, it's 50 50 shot, bro. Like, I think. What'd you guys think of the Super Mario Brothers movie? I haven't seen it yet. We were supposed to go see it on Tuesday. Oh, man. What? Yeah, we were supposed to go see it on Tuesday. You owe it to yourself to see this movie. Yeah, no. Spoiler free review, honestly. Go ahead. It's great. I've already, I already kind of. You already know. Yeah. Yeah. It's Super Mario, bro. Like, the thing I'm excited to see is, like, the whole, like, you know, just all of the little Easter eggs, exactly. little nuggets. I'm gonna if, notice if, if you're like a huge fan of the game, which like everyone is, yeah, like I played damn near every Mario game, so I'm down to see all of that. I definitely want to see it for sure, for sure. I heard though that like musically they fucking didn't dig into the Nintendo tracks and they were playing like '80s tracks and shit. Like he did like uh It was kind of like in that regard. It was kind of like a. They did Shrek, take on me when they, Shrek when they went to fucking Donkey Kong's place. Yeah. What the fuck is that, bro? Like, that's terrible. Did you see John Wick 4? Uh, no. We were going to watch Damn. it last night, but I watched Renfield. John Wick 4 was pretty solid. I heard it was pretty good. I, I haven't honestly seen three. They're all good. Every John Wick is good. I just like, I don't know what it is about that shit. It just don't really work for me because I'm like, bro, how can nobody shoot this nigga? Like, I don't know. He like never gets hurt. Oh, you're not a you're not a wicker, huh? I'm not really a big wick fan, bro. Like that's okay. I think, my brother doesn't really care for him either. I think it's cool how he does. I just shit, like the lo- the fucking world building. How they the get world like world building's cool. Yeah, how they get crazier and crazier with each movie. Yeah, the world building is interesting as shit. But like John Wick for me just don't really work that well. 
Gotcha. Um, You're I, not down with the Keanu Sants. I love Keanu. You know I do, bro. Yeah. I like him in like. How'd you like him in the new Matrix? I liked it. Remember, you the one that oh, didn't yeah. like it. No, that movie is. Uh, it got better. I'm telling you, when you watch it a couple times, I like that. It's movie. uh, it's the Matrix Four is actually pretty funny, and it's actually pretty watchable. Yeah, it's is definitely the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. For sure. Of, of, of the Matrix of the film. Matrix movies, yeah. Because Lawrence be. Fishburne is sadly missing. But there's a logical reason why he's not in it, but they still could have brought him back as a program. True. But um, I didn't mind that guy as Morpheus. And the, the storyline wasn't even bad. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a pretty... It was a very, like, anti-industry film. Right. And, like, kind of showing, like, the fucking grit of it all that... We but, don't ever really but, get to hear. But that's not going to work for some people. Of course. For sure. For sure. I think I think it's just a pretty smart movie. It just could have been executed better in a lot of ways. But what you can't have Keanu doing martial arts and all that oh. crazy shit now, too. You know what I'm saying? Have you seen the new Dune trailer yet? Yeah. We can talk about that. Have you? Uh, did you see Renfield? No, it's a huge flop too. But it's was it pretty, good? It's pretty fucking. It, it looked good, bro. When I tell dude, you, dude, when something flops these days, that doesn't mean it's a bad movie. No, hundred percent, bro. When I tell you, it was like one of the like kind of like it's gonna the, get stream. The action scenes and shit are like mm-hmm. full fucking gore. So bro. there's so there's a lot of action. In the a movie? lot of, there's like action and like gore. So like uh, Nick was Nicholas Arnold, I think his name is, or um, the dude who's Renfield. Uh, uh, he Nicholas plays a Holt. Beast. Holt. Thank you. Uh, he uh, he's basically like his assistant essentially, but he has powers. But he has to like eat these bugs to fucking gain these powers and shit. And like, bro, when I tell you, there's a scene like where they got like all these fucking gang members like come into like this apartment complex. This motherfucker in at all. This is the only part I'm gonna tell you, bro, is like he comes down on a motherfucker's arms who are like over the rail and this nigga takes off both of the arms and then fucking impales them through niggas, bro. Like, yo, it's fucking crazy when it comes to the gore, bro. And that chick from Shang-Chi's in it, the one that was with uh, with him the whole time or whatever. And in, in, in that scene, she goes, she's like, you know, you know how like somebody always says like, man, that was crazy. And then the other person says like, oh yeah, I've seen worse. He's like, this today is always going to be my worst. It's like he just fucking slaughtered these niggas. And like Nicolas <laughs> Cage is a fucking savage, bro. And he's got some dope ass powers as like as Dracula because he really is Dracula. So like harder to kill than like a normal ass vampire. You know what I mean? Doing some dope shit. So you can like turn in the mist and hella bats and shit. But like niggas be fucking him up. And he'd be like, yo, I thought about it. <laughs> he'd be like, yo, I thought about it. I think I'm going to go about it this way. He's just hilarious, bro, in that shit. It's a good-ass movie for, like, what it is. It's just Nicholas a straight Nicolas Cage comedy. made a huge comeback, just like Keanu Reeves did. But yeah. this, this movie did did flop. Yeah, I'm sure it did. It's, it's, a, it's a fucking funny as fuck, though. Definitely worth a watch, for sure. 100%. Uh, um... Dune. Damn it, I forgot what the... F- I talking about Dune trailer. Dune, and then there was something else... That I already forgot. Now, this is my whole thing with the Dune trailer, bro. I, After watching, I've seen it already, and I, I really don't remember anything about it. Well, my whole thing is, like, how far are they going to go? Right? You what know what I'm saying? Like, how far are they going to fucking go, like, bro? Like, with like, future films, you mean? Well, okay, so is it just part two, is it? I don't. And so there's part one and there's part two. Right, but is there going to be a part three? I don't know. Of be- course, because if, like if, if if this one makes money, yes, there will be. Well, because like my whole thing is like Dune's fucking long, bro. They could make a Dune Messiah film very easily because it's a very short film, dude. They could make if if they do it right, they could make every fucking Dune movie. But it's not. It's well, it's, it's it just, just has to be done right. It's just long, bro. So it's like. Okay, so like, I mean, he's super young right now, right? Like, how old would you say he is right here, right? He's pretty young. And him and Zendaya's character, right? They start banging and have a baby, what, like? Twins. Oh, no, no, no. In, no, no. 
in the first book. Yeah. Yeah, they have a kid who gets killed. killed. I know, I know, I know. So the the first kid that they have though, how many years is that into them being into the desert? Is what I'm asking. Um, maybe like three. Right. They've been there for a minute, right? Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying is like that is that type of time gap going to happen because this chick right here is the fucking bitch that gets put into. That's his mom, right? Uh. Her? Yeah. I think so. Like, uh, it, yeah, that's she, his mom. When she's the one who uh, is prego and has the crazy baby, right? Yes, Alia. Right. So. And how can this be? Yeah. So. For he is the Quizaz <laughs> Hazarak. So, so I was fucking wondering, like, is this movie going to go that far? Or is she just going to be, like, barely pregnant? I think they're right going to go like, all the way with after. this movie. I so, think they're going to go all the way with me for two reasons. It's part two of a successful movie, so they already know what they can do. And it's it's the last half, and there's more epic shit happening in it. So like, Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. When you say the last half, are you talking about like... Dune 1. The, like no, Dune? No, I'm saying like last, how yeah. far into the story are we talking? Are we talking about like in the Emperor type shit? Yeah. Like you're talking about, so you think it's gonna all happen in this last, this, yes, the second movie. Yeah, it's it's always been just a two part, dude. It's not like a trilogy or anything. Well, no, but there's a lot of fucking meat and potatoes that like. Yeah, but they can if they make like a two and a half, three hour movie, which they're gonna do. They're gonna, dude. We've already. All he has to do is start killing people in this movie. Well, yeah, he, yeah that's <laughs> it, really. And that, that's a great idea. It was a great idea for them to split this movie in two. But see, like, the interesting shit, is that going to... Is that, like, okay, okay, okay. Is the fucking sage lady going to put her powers in the baby in this movie? Yes. They're going to do it is, all. Is she going to have the baby this movie? Yes. Are they going to have the baby this movie? Paul yes. and, and the girl. I see what you're saying. Like, maybe or maybe not. We'll see. Th- that's what I'm saying, though. Like, they should. Is he going to fucking use the baby... It's fucking sight to kill. No, that's in Dune Messiah, bro. Okay, that's the so that's second, second book, one, right? Yes. Okay, so you're saying that's afterwards. Yes, I'm okay. sorry. That's what I was I was like, you. what the fuck are you talking about? That's what I was talking so, about. So, okay, the reason why Dune 2 is very doable is because Dune 2, the book, Dune Messiah, is just kind of like, it's kind of like the Quantum of Solace of Dune to fucking... Dunes, okay, Royale, okay? Saying, yeah. it's just a very straightforward short book where it's an assassination attempt on Paul's life mm-hmm. and at the end um, they end up getting his wife instead who is like preggers with twins right. and Paul gets blinded right. by this assassin and right. uses the fucking eyes of his son. newly born son to see where this assassin is in relation to him in the room right. and like lines that shit up and throws a knife in the guy's throat. So right. it's a, it's a pretty, it's actually a pretty good fucking book and it's very, so they could do a fucking sequel. The, the, uh, sci-fi channel movie is actually pretty good. I've watched the whole thing. That's why, that's why but I'm asking you. that. Okay. Now that movie is actually a combination of, the second and the third books. Well, yeah, because that's what I was wondering. Is but I think they should do just a, just a third movie that's just the second book. Because, like, okay, so, like, in the sci-fi one, right, with fucking Alec Newman and shit, mm-hmm. like, in the third part, all of that happens. That's but in then, June, the book three. Right. And then, and then they still have another three-parter, which is the Children of Dune, right, with fucking James McAvoy. Fucking play. That's all Dune Messiah. Right. Oh, yeah. Children of Dune. Children of Dune. Yeah, because Children of Dune is actually the third book. book. Right. So Children of Dune is actually Dune Messiah and Children of Dune. Okay. So that's what I was trying to figure out yeah. was like, how far are they going to. Okay. So so you think, what is the last thing that's going to happen in this movie? I'm just trying to Paul figure is out gonna like, where they're going to kill. Gonna, Paul is going to kill, kill the Emperor. Kill. No. He's oh, not going to kill the Emperor. Emperor. Fade. Right. He's going to kill Fade and take the fucking throne for himself. And say, I'm going to fucking marry your daughter. And that's going to be the end of this. Ep- this Yes. But he would already dealt with the emperor or no? The emperor never dies, bro. Or not the emperor, but like. Uh, Fade? Which one's the Fade? The baron. The baron, yeah. The baron will also die before Fade. Fade dies last. Okay. The baron dies as, as soon as they. As soon as they fucking. Uh, 
invade the fucking fortress with their giant worms and shit. Right. The the little crazy ass sister kills the Baron with that Gam Jabar. Right. That that fucking needle on her finger. Remember. Mm hmm. So he's dead before Paul comes in and gets challenged by Fade, and then he stabs Fade to the fucking throat and takes control of the empire. And then that'll be it. Yes. And then, so Dune Messiah is like, after that's already happened, there's like they water kill, on they the planet? Ki- yeah, so not yet. Not, not yet. There's not water on the planet. So let's actually go through the Dune books. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... The second one is after the jihad has happened. Mm-hmm. And they've, like, annihilated the whole fucking, like, galaxy of dissidents and shit. Right. And Paul is in, like, his prime politically with his fucking uh, Fremen followers. Um, his wife is pregnant. Right. He's on top of the world. And he, like, shuts himself away in this fortress and Eric Keen. And just trips balls on spice all day to see the future. But the and he doesn't like where it's going, but he's like, this was inevitable. Right. And he got forced. Yeah. Into situation. And, so, and so they're like, well, if you're like, like a God, why can't you stop this shit? And he's kind of like fucking Dr. Manhattan where he's like, I'm just kind of observing this shit. I'm not, I'm not a God. I'm just kind of and then- watching this shit happen. And then, um, and then, so there's there's an assassination plot against him where they end up killing his wife. The twins are born, and Paul walks out in into the desert blind. Right, and that and and that's okay. the end of the the second book. Oh wow, I thought that was gonna be the end. Of, okay, no, okay. so the third book is his, when his kids, kids are grown up, or not fucking grown up, but like teen, like his Sand age power. in the first. Yeah. They, they're getting, tw- they're, they're twins. They're yeah. both dope as fuck. Yeah, and basically it's uh, like his kids are raw. It's um, it's an assassination attempt on their lives, right? And it shows how they um kind of get fucking double crossed by the by the empire and have to hide with the fremen just like Paul did, right? And the brother ends up becoming this weird worm hybrid he creature. Like fuses he, like, fucking, fuses yeah. He, like, fuses with the fucking... He, like, fuses with the fucking newborn worms. He's got, like, his skin is all yeah. fucking... Yeah. His skin. arm becomes a worm, basically. Yeah. And he gets, like, uh, powers like the Flash, basically. Yeah, he can, like, run really fast. That yeah. literally happens in the fucking sci-fi one. Yep. Okay, okay. So... So, wait, wait, wait. Um... Well, I guess that wouldn't happen in this movie. That'd be the next movie. It'd have to be yeah. the next movie. Because I was gonna ask about like, like the Fremen kind of like roast him though, right? Like from a, like the not not like they they follow him obviously, but I'm saying like the Fremen don't really like where the world has gone with Dune and shit. Like, well, yeah, because they, they, they killed become, everybody and they become water fat. Like yeah, you know what I mean. And so Dune gets like terraformed like. Over the course of like tens of thousands of years in these books. Right. And instantly it becomes like uh, water and shit, right? There's like water yeah. and shit all around. Okay. And in the last book, there's 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 water on it. So I actually don't know a whole lot about the next three books, but I do know that by the fourth book, uh, Leto the second is like fused with the giant sandworms. So he looks like a giant sandworm with like his head in its mouth. Holy shit. So when he talks, it like opens its mouth and his head is talking and shit. It's supposed to be fucking crazy. How many books are there? Six? There's six that he wrote. And then his son wrote them or whatever? His son wrote like a billion of them. <laughs> Did he? Wrote a bunch? Bro, awful shit too. That's terrible. So the six are the main ones that you Yeah. You see. So his son said he like found some notes that his dad wanted to fucking... He was bullshitting, probably. Huh? Yeah, and like he wrote, like he actually wrote a seventh and an eighth Dune book that he claimed his father wanted to write, where like uh, it's very Matrix Resurrections, actually. Oh, like, really? Yeah, like Paul and Chani get like cloned and shit, or like or or like become reincarnated and they end up ruling the fucking universe. Is what the fuck? Yeah, bro. It's it's. And then, and then he wrote, like, a million prequel books, dude. Really? They have to do with the different factions, like um, the Imperial fucking family. And 
he uh the atreides the harkonnens he wrote like he wrote like a million of these books dude that's crazy so but, but so like the real the like hardcore fans six books yeah and like the true fans to me don't even waste their time with that bullshit. so how do how does the like this what's in the sixth book like how far is that into- so the sixth book uh dune is like completely terraformed and um i really don't it's like this faction of like fucking benny jesserit uh who are like these sex assassins mm-hmm. are like vying for control of the empire against um like i guess duncan has something to do duncan keeps getting cloned for some fucking reason, over and over in these books. He's always... And that's so funny, like, uh... Duncan is just, like, getting cloned every time. Over, over, over. Well, he obviously won't be here. Well, so because he was, like, one be... of the dopest fighters in the whole universe. Ah, I see. But the movies don't really showcase that shit. No, they don't. And then... I know there's one last thing that I wanted to fucking... Oh, so heretic. So the God Emperor of Dune. So I I guess the direction that the fucking books are going is there's something called the Golden Path, which is like humanity is needs to stay on the Golden Path or it'll go extinct. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, I guess. By the sixth book, they they it's a it's a cliffhanger actually, um, where our band of heroes escape this planet in a fucking spaceship. Oh really? Yeah. So they have these these ships called no ships, uh-huh. I guess. Where um, I thought they couldn't go through space or whatever. So to hot well, they without don't that, without the spice. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, the aliens, but I thought they killed the fucking space guild or whatever, and they assassinated all the women. It's it's dude, it's so many years in the future. Man. Oh, that's true. You just yeah. say that fucking planet was terraformed and all that shit. I was yeah. Like, so God Emperor so in between so there's basically two trilogies. So the the first trilogy ends with Leto being like this fucking like flash type dude and he fucking takes control the same way Paul did. Oh, and Paul dies at the end of that book. At the end of which one? Uh the third one, Children of Dune. Oh yeah, he, he, he does himself Oh yeah. Oh, that's how he dies? Yeah. Just okay. stabbed by um and the fourth so the the last three start with god god emperor of dune where leto the second is now that giant sandworm and like tens of hundreds like tens of thousands of years have passed right and yeah like the universe is stagnant so long story short at the end of the series they find out that it's inevitable for mankind to uh like copy itself as an artificial intelligence that's why they had that but Lyrian jihad that's why there are no fucking robots and computers and shit right because it was like some skynet level shit so right. there was a big there was like some matrix like level shit where it was humans against machines and they fucking wiped them all out so they say that it's in that the golden path is like kind of like a fucking fairy tale and that uh mankind it's inevitable that like they'll create uh the next step in evolution which is like ai and the ai will just exterminate humankind and that shit is just going to happen that's kind of tight yep that's pretty dope see i like that concept i just like the idea of dune in general i think it's a better star wars in my opinion is badass like the pro it's like a, a prophecy that like it happens but it that just book ha- have written in the 60s bro it like it happens but it doesn't happen how everyone thinks it's gonna happen type shit it's literally exactly. just a better paul, star wars paul is not the savior the, cr- the yeah. savior he's the antichrist yeah exactly it's the compl- it's just it's literally fucking and and he knows it and it's mm-hmm. depressing yeah like it's the fucking worst he's he's literally gonna bring death to fucking millions basically trillions bro. trillions they fucking wiped out everybody bro in their way i thought so like because that's what i was saying i saw like when I was watching the uh, he, he, sci-fi he, one, they were shanking niggas in the space guild, like breaking the fucking tanks that those bro, niggas were in. And they shit. had them like, lined the up fuck? like they had them lined up, bro. They were basically like the space Nazis, bro. That's crazy. It was like it was like the Crusades, kind of. Yeah. You just gotta run through everybody, bro. <laughs> what else? What else are we forgetting here? Uh, show wise or movie wise? Let's see. Um, you gave me a list. Let me see what else. 
I'm pretty sure we covered everything that I texted you. Let's see. What do you guys think about this Marvels this Marvels movie coming out? I don't know. I uh did you watch Miss Marvel? Like the no. show? I, I haven't watched any Oh yeah, you said any of the shows. I don't watch Star Wars shows, I don't watch Marvel shows. I so feel don't that. ask me. <laughs> I don't watch shows in general. You know what? Yeah, this no, whole crotchety. You, you know what this that. whole crotchety motherfucker. The last series I watched was Altered Carbon season one. Yeah, you, I watched a couple episodes of season two, and I was like, they're going too far off the rails from the books. I don't, I'm, I, I would still fucking watch it. But here's the thing. Here's a question I have to ask you guys: Can you buy shit that's on Netflix or Hulu? Because I want to buy the Predator movie, but it's on Hulu. I can't. Are they going to release like a hard copy? Is there one available to buy on like what's it? Prey? Uh, Prey, yeah. I think you can buy Prey. Can you? Like uh, Prey. Because I kind of want to buy Altered Carbon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can buy it. Yeah, buy that shit, bro. Maybe anyway. Maybe not. See, I think that's a bunch of bogus. Yeah, shit. I say maybe not. That, that definitely ain't real. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker bullshitting. He so just, when? Maybe not, dude. You might be that's right. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's lame. That is pretty lame. You might be right. It would have been right there. That's okay. I can just... Whatever. Nah, it ain't. You right, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, Okay. Uh, there is actually something that you know what fuck fuck that movie let's talk about i know i'm a little late to the game here boys and girls but what i just recently uh discovered this i i i didn't discover this franchise but i'm i always was aware of this series of fucking horror films from the memes Mm -hmm. but i finally watched the silent night deadly night movies Oh, how are they? Dude, they're fucking amazing, dude. Really? The worst one is actually the one where the meme came from, where he was like, garbage day. Right. So the first movie is amazing. The second movie is like half the movie, maybe over half, is like these flashbacks where they basically show almost the entire first movie. (laughs) But it has two kills in it that are really good towards the end. And then the the fucking third, fourth, and fifth one, and then there's a remake with Malcolm McDowell, which is probably the second best one. Right. So how many? How many are there? These movies are crazy, dude. There's six. Six. Yeah. So this shit kind of seemed to me like where they wanted to go with the Halloween movies, where they wanted to make an anthology series. Right. But Season of the Witch, which is amazing. Uh-huh. Didn't really hit with audiences, so they just decided to do the return of Michael Myers. So, the Silent Night, Deadly Night fucking movies are savage, bro. And this, the last two, uh, part four and five, have nothing to do with... They're just happening at Christmas, but they're gonzo, dude. Really? Yes. And the remake is amazing, I think. But the first one, I was like, how, did I, how have I never seen this movie? Really? Yeah. I got to check those out then. I, I guess it got pulled from theaters. It was that that crazy? Or just not selling well? It, it, it was like people were like, they're attacking Christmas. You know, like the fundamentalists. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they Oh, they, re- they literally released it at Christmas time. And it's a Christmas movie? Yeah. Ah, that's beast. And uh, so, I don't know, dude. They're Zero crazy. They're ruining Christmas. And there's... A series of horror movies that I want to get back into that I used to have a box set and I don't know what happened to it what? are the Puppet Master movies. Bro. Oh, dude, I would love to read. I only watched, I think, the first one. They're absolutely horrible films, dude. Yeah, the Puppet. I, like, I only watched n- the first one. Like, nowhere near genius of like some of these other horror movies. But like, if, if you're there for the puppets, yeah, it's the first. Cool. The first one was, I mean, I just remembered when I was a kid, so like. Part three was my favorite one with uh, Six Shooter. There were some crazy ass movies back in the day like that, though. That where it was all practical effects. And yeah, shit. that was the dopest part about it. Was like it just tripped me out. I was like, man, look at these little motherfuckers, bro. Like <laughs> killing people, <laughs> just straight up fucking motherfuckers up. Did you ever see that movie Dolls? 
That sounds familiar. Dolls Maybe. is pretty fucking good. I don't know. I used to watch all these horrible ass fucking horror movies on Channel Thirty Three back when that dude the, from Counting count. Cars was yeah, the count, count Cool Rider. Mm-hmm. I was just about to say that. Bro. I used to stay up. He used to show that shit all the time, bro. I used to watch what? all that shit. Saturday night at midnight, I'd be watching these movies on a handheld TV in my fucking bed, dude, with this big ass antenna. <laughs> And my mom was like, you can watch this shit, but you have to go to church tomorrow. So it's church the next day. I was always hella tired because <laughs> I was watching these old ass, cheesy ass Vincent cheesy. Price movies. Cheesy. Turn, lock Bro. the doors and turn up the volume. It bursts his eardrums and shit. Bro, I saw this movie called Scream and Scream Again. Mm-hmm. On that Count Cole Rider show, that was amazing, bro. And when I when I found it, like it was like a double feature five dollar DVD back when like DVDs first came out. And right. I was like, I gotta get this shit, dude. It's it's the craziest movie, bro. It has. We'll go over the plot in one second, but like unrelated to the plot, it has this car chase scene that is like not even like really fitting. For this movie, it's like one of the greatest car chases I've ever seen, bro. Really? Like, out of all those cop movies from the 60s and right. 70s. Where they this, were doing it all day. And so here's the plot, dude. Mm-hmm. That, like, this, uh, I think Vincent Price is, like, harvesting body parts to a fucking, like, uh, some kind of, like, New World Order, like, some fucking... The plot is so weird, dude. It, it, it's like the world is run by this like specter type government, right? That harvests body parts and shit. What? And he makes this fucking dude like from body parts, and like it's like his his fucking creation, Vincent Price. And this dude goes out at night in London and is just like this serial murderer. He like kills just prostitutes. And so like a big part of the fucking movie is the police chasing this serial killer who's like this like Frankenstein type dude and when the cops are chasing him dude it's this they're in like these little mini fucking like english fucking little sports cars bro zipping around zipping around bro and the dude gets handcuffed to a fucking car and he like rips his fucking arm off to like take off in this car and the cops chase him all the way back to the lab bro and he just opens up this. They're like, "Stop, man!" You know, he fucking opens up this vat of ass and just jumps right in it, bro. Like, what fuck you fuck? guys, bro. It's That's wild. Crazy. It's this old ass seventies, sixties fucking horror movie. Seventies, I think, with Vincent Price and Peter Cushing. So Peter Cushing is like looking for Vincent Price. He's like some CIA agent or some what? shit. Right? That's scream and scream What's again, it bro. Scream and scream again. Yeah, he, dude. Show. So. There's this fucking, there are are like these interludes in this movie Mm -hmm. where like this dude, the opening credits of this movie is this guy jogging. Right. You're like, what is this? He ends up collapsing. He had like a kidney star or something or like something. So he ends up in this hospital, bro, and like wakes up. The nurse is like giving him a shot and he wakes up one day and like one of his feet on dude and this movie he's a victim of this body heart part harvesting syndicate bro right. but the movie keeps like randomly cutting back to this guy who wakes up and more body parts are gone and finally at the end he wakes up and he's like just a torso bro really? when i was a kid this movie fucked me up bro that's crazy so and that's because of uh vincent price is doing that or what yeah you, you you should play the trailer, Hell bro. That's no. uh, that's one of those fucking count cool rider movies, bro. What's it called? Scream and scream, scream again. and scream again. But those Silent Night fucking Deadly Night movies definitely were, it's, uh, especially the first one, bro. This one. Yes. One I definitely got to check that out. This is. Definitely like an underground gem horror movie, bro. Look at Vincent Price, bro. 
Wow. Oh, Christopher Lee, that's Holy what. Holy yeah. shit. Once you fully understand. Everybody's so young. Your life will have to wind down a very different road. I want to know. So that's the acid? Yeah. Oh, where did she die? She has never really existed yet. You see, she's been assembled piece by piece, organ by organ. She's a composite. Like Keith. Keith? Yes, you remember the so-called vampire killer. This movie has horrible lighting, dude. Dude, that's the that's one of the henchmen she from fucking for your eyes only. Know what I mean. Yeah, he's smashing. That's the dude Roger Moore kicked off the fucking cliff. Bro, smashing. Look at that shit. Bro. Look how far look how far this thing falls. Oh, tinsoil steel. Ah! Uh, movie's epic, dude. So, what do you do? Bite his hand off? He, like, ripped it off. Jesus. Because he's, like, assembled. It's like a Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. You did say that. That's right. Bro, I finally watched... It was at Zia for, like, three bucks. I finally watched the Kenneth Branagh Frankenstein, bro, from the 90s. From the 90s? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had never seen it. Oh, you had I finally watched it. What did you think of it? Bro, it's horrid. Yeah. It's horrific. I think that's why. Fucking I, horrific. Not, nobody talks about that shit. It's straight terrible. Awful. Yeah, no one speaks on it. Um, when did oh. that come out? Oh. What? Like 91, uh, 94, 95. We got to talk about this. Also. Oh, here's a couple movies I picked up. So this movie I had also never seen. And I thought it was pretty good. Even though beat for beat, it was kind of the first movie. It was Escape from L.A. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's got a couple, like, I don't know how to describe it. I just it. expected it to be so bad. But the part where he does, like, the, the Thailand fucking can game or whatever, bro, and he just blows him away, that was tight. What am I? What am I? And when he just blows it, he's like, "Hey, one eye, don't you turn your back." I mean, he just goes like, Brrr. "Was it? Wasn't there like um?" And the basketball scene was great. <laughs> what I'm trying to think of the was it like the opening of that shit that was like? Bro, the CG, CG? was so bad. Yeah, it's this opening it, CG. It, right? it was like, it was like someone did it on like Windows. Yeah, bro. like it was really, really. We should actually look at that real quick. Like, let's not actually. <laughs> it's so it, bad, bro. And I'll tell you, okay, so I liked that movie. I was pleasantly surprised when I escaped from L.A. But I'll tell you what I did buy that was absolutely awful, dude, was what? Johnny Mnemonic. Oh, yeah, Johnny Mnemonic sucks, bro. It has a good concept, but once they get, it, once it gets going, it's terrible. How much, how, much, how much was the space in his head? Like, n not even big enough to put Witcher 3 in. <laughs> it was, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> It was like it was tiny. <laughs> Fuck, I can't it, it, remember. It was like um, it, okay. It 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 was like three hundred and fifty gigs. Dude. Yeah, that's was, really not <laughs> anything. What is that? A PlayStation Four, bro? Like first gen, bro, right? Johnny, yeah, Johnny Newman, it was wild for that shit. For sure. And Dolph Lundgren played that fucking like bionic hitman that was like dressed like Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That Come to me, my children. That movie. Bro, and Ice T was like the leader of the revolution. And what did he have on his forehead? The tattoo? Oh, it was an anarchy, anarchy. sign. Yep. And they had a dolphin. That movie is terrible. The bro. only good part is the guy's got the mono wire from Cyberpunk that's 2077. The, the red wire. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. The red wire is the best part, bro. 
everything That movie else. is so fucking it's, atrocious. It's so bad. I'm telling you, it Dude, starts off. And you're do like, the okay. rant. Do the rant where he says he wants room service, bro. He said, I want the club sandwich. I want champagne. I want room service. And like throughout the entire movie, you were like, I didn't know this guy was like a booze now. Like this. Is this there it is. Come on. This shit is epic, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely epic. What the fuck is going on? It's not only, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let me let's get a better fucking cleaner. I don't think there is one. It's got to be. What the fuck is going on? That's better. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> my life I've been careful to stay in my own corner <coughs> for number one no complications yes. now suddenly I'm responsible for the entire fucking world and everybody and his mother is trying to kill me if if my head doesn't blow up first maybe it's not just about you anymore You listen to me. You see that city over there? That's where I'm supposed to be. Not down here with the dogs and the garbage and the fucking last what's newspapers blowing back and <coughs> forth. This is this is the beginning of knock knock or uh, like where knock knock came from. You, I've had it with all this. I want room service. I want the club sandwich. I want the cold Mexican beer. I want a ten thousand dollar a night hooker. I want my shirts laundered. Like they do at the Imperial Hotel. Like, I wonder bro. how hard the fucking crew like I I wonder how many days it took for them to scrub the laughing from the fucking audio. Right, people just like from the crew. <laughs> a, a hot mic from the crew. They're like, damn, this guy is horrible. Bro, it's so bad. Honestly, Keanu's only had a couple movies where he's he's been good. You know what movie he was really bad in too was Dracula, bro. You took the words right out of my mouth. Bro. He, so I guess he was Blazing like, Blue Inferno. So yeah, he yeah. was directing Gary Oldman on how to be Dracula like better. And he was like, yo, aren't you going to talk to my man Keanu over here? <laughs> <laughs> Blazing Blue Inferno. Blazing Blue Bloody Wolves. <laughs> sure. This nigga was yes, so sir. bad. I would give it my full attention. Yo, he was so I bad. I have offended you with my ignorance, Count. I've seen many strange things already. Bloody wolves chasing me through some blue inferno. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gary Oldman was, wasn't laughing at how much panty he was in. He was laughing at his acting. Right. Sleeps. I brought him there to Carfax Abbey. Did he say cock fat Abby? Bitch, bro, this he was so bad in this movie. I don't care what no one uh, says. Ah, Keanu, fuck off, bro. Blazing blue and fair. No, day. you're. We love you, baby. We love you. <laughs> I, yeah, I love Keanu, but we like his, you as a person, bro. bro. His best shit is the knock knock. I want to get high from you, oh, with you, from you. That sounds so okay. <laughs> I want to get high from you, bro. You you're gonna man. fucking kill me <laughs> it was free pizza you fucking bitches death <laughs> this is best shit death you're gonna kill me you're gonna fucking kill me why why because I fucked you you fucked me you fucked me <laughs> you came to my house you came to me I got you a car. I brought you your clothes. You took a fucking bubble bath. bath. <laughs> you wanted it. You wanted it. You came out to me. What was I supposed to do? You sucked my cock. You both fucking sucked my cock. It was free pizza. Free fucking <coughs> pizza. It just shows up at my fucking door. What am I supposed to do? 
We're flight attendants. Come on, fuck us. No one will know. Come on, fuck us. Oh, two sums, three sums. It doesn't matter. Starfish, husbands. You don't give a fuck. You'll just fuck anything. You'll just fuck anything. Well, you lied to me. I'm trying to help you. I let you in. I was a good guy. I'm a good father. He's come a long way. He's so me. good here. What? They what? Kill me? <laughs> they lost it. They kill me? Why? Why? That's the best they part. Fuck me. He's like, yeah. Why? He's, he's like, fuck me. Why? He's like, what? What? They kill me? What? They gonna kill me? Why? Why? He's gonna fuck me. Uh, what the fuck? 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 This is fucking insane. Fucking great, bro. He said, like, "What? Now you're gonna kill me?" <laughs> yep. Now that's what I'm saying. Like that, Keanu is actually good. That's why I think the John Wick movies have a little bit of something with it, bro. Have you seen the John Thick trailer? No. What is that? P -p Play it, bro. Yo, it's and, the second one. Yeah, second one, and then. And then, um, oh shit. <laughs> Watch this shit, hold on. Oh, this is Corridor Crew. I had it all, These niggas man. are tight. Fast cars, best friends, extremely young women. But them dick skin honkies took the one thing that mattered most. My chair. It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. The greatest assassin to ever live. I'm a professional killer. Handsome, wise, and articulate. Once Abnormal's confirmed to be in there, you can take him out, but wait for my word. He's also <laughs> really good at guitar, and he did it all sitting down. <laughs> they gonna have to pay for what they done. Have you returned to the fold? My brother, if I get back in, I need resources. Let me tack up. Wait, is he standing? No, I'm running. Do they run, put the run in? You die. You gotta tell me straight so I can know who's coming for us. Our pleasure, sir. It's like a monkey trying to fuck a football now, really. What have you done? We've just succeeded in burning these bitches to the ground. You, uh, working again? Thinking I'm black. <laughs> that was great, bro. Corridor Crew's amazing. Hey, you! You might be one. I fuck with those dudes all day. But I don't subscribe because they got like 10 million subscribers. They can fuck off. Yeah, I want you to. Uh, all right, hold on. 750th Simpsons episode intro. I want to see. Have you, have you seen this shit? They got like everybody in here, bro. This shit actually like. I didn't think it was gonna hit me, but it actually kind of hit me like on just some like reminiscing and shit. There's like everyone's in this fucking episode. If this is the right one. Like look, they shoved everybody in this fucking this opening, bro. Uh, so many fucking. I was like, I was like slowing it down. I was like, bro, you just see everybody. I saw Frank Grimes. Look, Frank Grimes is there. Bro, everybody in the back. Fucking, oh my god. Jesus. Damn. Everyone, bro. I'm telling you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just fucking zoomed over, bro. Even the fucking other Marge and Homer. Yep. Fucking Xena. <laughs> I thought that was dope. I was like pausing that shit. I was like, bro, like everybody's there, bro. Future Lisa and shit. Like, bro, every I mean, that's. <laughs> Fucking crazy how many fucking people they just like put on this shit. Fucking God. Uh, Everyone, bro. I was like, this shit is crazy. Abraham Lincoln. Mm hmm. Anthony Kiedis was in the corner of the garage in his underwear. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, fucking everyone, bro. I was like, I wonder if they really put every single fucking person. I mean, they definitely could. Not like they couldn't, you know what I mean? 
But I'm like, I'm curious if it's like every single fucking per every single person ever. Look at that shit. That that's what I'm thinking, bro. Like every like that's why I was like, dude, that's crazy. Satan Flanders? Yeah. yeah. Everybody, bro. Look the fucking everyone. That's crazy. What's that? I'm gonna go through it again with slower just to see. See, these are the missing people. Oh, see, look, they even got fucking Poochie and shit on here. Oh, you know what else I just got, too, what? for, like, a couple bucks? What? Dude, fucking 31. What was that? Uh, uh, it's a fucking Rob Zombie movie, bro. Oh, is it good? Yeah. It's 31. one of his best. It's, it's... Are, are you into his fucking movies or not, really? Not it's really kind of like bro. trailer trash horror. Yeah. But this movie was amazing. Not too many, uh... Negative. So you don't like House House of a Thousand Corpses? That's the only one I like. You don't like Devil's Rejects, bro? Not really. Oh, it's so good, bro. Mm. The dude from Dawn of the Dead is amazing. Tiny, right? Japanese. Yeah, she's Japanese. annoying. What are these? Nah, bro. That shit is not for me, big fella. Oh, wow. Even, uh, what's the name, sir? I, I didn't like any of that shit. It's okay. It's just not something I would like watch over and over and shit again. Like you just said, bro, it's trailer trash kind of shit. It's not really like. Oh, it's kind of its charm. I don't really like that kind of hickey shit. It's pretty racist. No, I'm just kidding. I just, just ain't for me. Damn, I think they put every single fucking person ever. Fucking bananas, bro. Eh. My, my mm -hmm. The fucking people in this prison, everything. Wow. I wonder if they like photo scan these fucking people and show them in. Cause some of these people just kind of like they're just like, like just placed in. I'm sure they do it all digital now. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. I don't know he how they ate that shit. Yeah, I don't know how they make this movie anymore or how they make The Simpsons uh, anymore. Who? Uh, the Simpsons has actually gotten better though. Like uh, me and Nisi watch it all the time now, and uh, they're, 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 it's pretty good, honestly. And and what's crazy is it stayed with the times. Like they got like cell phones and shit, but they don't make it like a prominent thing. You know what I mean? I don't know how to Radio describe it. Radioactive man. Everyone, stew, <laughs> disco stew. I love Chief Wiggum. Jesus, like, look at all these fucking people back here. Like, I, they're not even identifiable, bro. What's a diorama? <laughs> they're like, oh, like, so, oh, there's Itchy and Scratchy. Oh, look, there's even the fucking Homer. Wow. 50s Homer? Yo, I wonder if the 3D Homer is here from that Nightmare of uh, the Terror uh, episode. Probably not. That's probably something that's not here. Watch us find it somehow. That's why I thought it'd be here, because this looks like it has a lot of the Halloween shit. A lot of this shit is from Halloween. Fucking impressive, though, huh? I was like... Zorro? I just saw Zorro. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought this shit was so impressive. I'm like, man, look, there's LeBron. Fucking Yao Ming. Everybody, bro. <clears throat> is that 50 fucking cent? <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. What time is it? Nine? Nine. Oh, yeah, you're right, right there in his draws. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who's at the end Clint there? Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Mr. T. Don King. Little Richard. Jerry Garcia. Mm -hmm. Little Richard. Willy Wonka. Zena. Warrior Princess. Mm -hmm. Stampy. The Leprechaun. Leprechaun. <laughs> Even it's got Bart here. Fucking too. is the Little Richard. Yeah, Little Richard right there. Is that Oprah? I don't know who that is. No, I don't think it's Oprah. Don King. Who's this supposed to be? Willy Wonka? Yeah, Willy Wonka. An elephant? Stampy. <laughs> what 
Who's even got this thing came out of nowhere? Who the hell are these people? Crazy, huh? I thought I thought that was pretty impressive though. For like a fucking seven hundred and fiftieth episode. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's some that's some love right there, just putting every single fucking person. I'm sure South Park probably did it first that time. No, I'm just kidding. Even Thanos was there, not everybody was there. Everybody and their mama. Good shit tonight. Hell yeah. GG's, GG's. <clears throat> Even Thanos was there. Rob Zombie movies blow. Yeah, I'm not really a Rob Zombie fan. They're alright. 